Uh, there we go. Thank you. All right. I wrote this for you. Thinking about how I've always been looking for you and how we're going to be leaving our old boats behind to build a new boat together. against the currents of this life. You came along, my heart sang a new song, caught my eye with those eyes of helpless in pursuit. I can hardly breathe. I can hardly Setting sail to the unknown. The anchor's pulling, pulling us in, but our faith will be there, rolling our ground. I can hardly breathe. I can hardly. I can hardly breathe Oh, I can finally breathe Say we'll make this last forever Cause I want this to be
one in the Hebrew is echad. It's one of those words we gotta spit and say it. But it's this word, it's the same word that is used to describe husband and wife becoming one. It's this word that talks about unity in plurality. It, it doesn't mean that you stop being individuals, but there's something powerful happening together as the two of you come together as one in a way that reflects something of who God is within himself, the triune God, to becoming one. Now in this, you're not losing your individuality. We've talked about this the last few months. But as you come together, you're becoming more than you could be as individuals. Who you are as individuals enhances who you are as a married couple. Like when melody and harmony come together and they make the sound so much sweeter. Like when everybody in the band plays within rhythm. A guitar on its own is good, but with the full band there's an enhanced sound, right? To becoming one. And there are times when your individuality will yield to who you are as a couple. You no longer just look out for yourself, for yourself, but now you're thinking about what it means to be one with the other. Who gives this bride in marriage? Her mother and I. Do you vow before God to serve her, doing everything you can to help her grow into the person God has created her to be? I do. Do you vow before God to serve Him, doing everything you can to help Him grow into the person God has created Him to be? I do. I was going to tell you to hold each other's hands, but you're already doing that. <laughs> Hi, Nick. Take you, Taylor. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To support and to love. To support and to love. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. And according to God's holy plan. And according to God's holy plan. I give you my all. I give you my all. You will become like a tree planted by streams of water. It bears its fruit in season, and its leaves do not wither. For as much as Nick and Taylor have consented together in holy wedlock, and have witnessed the same before God and these people, and in doing so have given and pledged their vows to each other, and have declared the same by giving and the receiving of a ring, by the authority that's been given to me by the state of Washington, and as a pastor of Newbridge Community Church, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Nick. <laughs> you may kiss your bride.
Nick, I may have only met you in person yesterday. Thank you, long distance and COVID. Um, but you make my best friend happy. I know that because she genuinely talks about how kind you are. And over a year ago, when I asked her if you were the one, the smile on her face solidified her feelings for you. I am, I'm so blessed and so grateful to have him in my life. And the thing that I wanted to say, the reason why I bring up all these things and the reason why I bring up how close Nick and I are is I just want to say that I am so honored to have this baton, the label of best friend, and to be able to pass it off. Because when you get married, that right there, that's your best friend. And Nick, you found an amazing best friend. Ephesians 6.18 says, and pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayer and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the saints. So, in a marriage, start now. You're gonna have a lot of good days. You're gonna have some bad days. Just remember to pray about everything. And remember that God is with you all the time. Just talk to him and thank you. And it'll all be okay. I love you guys. Thank you. And the neatest girl I have ever met uh, came into our, our life. And we are so proud that she is with us uh, in our family. We're so proud of her family. Uh, God is ever present. Never forget, you put God in the middle and you'll do just fine. Uh, Nick and Taylor, we love you so, so much. And uh, just love you. Okay.